Hey guys, Megatimo here again, and I was just building up some bases to test out my new kind of cheaply made wash on, and I was like, well, why am I not making a video of this? Um, so I kind of tore what I had to pieces, and and I'm gonna start over again showing you guys how I make my desert terrain bases. So kind of like what Megaton's on here now uh... that's kind of lo the look we're going to get we won't get the exact same thing but that's kind of the look we're going for oh yeah and if you don't know who Megaton is there's a video uh... project in the pint back in my videos that i kind of show how i made this guy anyway enough of that um, so we're going to be doing a twenty five and a forty uh... millimeter base uh, basically, the reasoning for the two is most of your army is going to be on this, and, and if you want to know how to do this, um, you kind of need that. But really, the 25s don't have a lot of room to do things on. The 40s have a lot of room to do some interesting stuff on, plus your special characters and everything go on these ones. So, this one's going to be more detailed and fun to do. So, first things first. Uh, I got a rather thick piece of cork right here from I think I got a sheet of it from the craft store so we can just take this and what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, glue it on to the base now originally what you would do is make sure this lines up with whatever model you're gonna put on it but since I really don't have a model right now uh, for it I'm going to skip that step, but you should probably do it if you're thinking about one right now. So we'll be using super glue to glue that down. So you just take the cork, apply some super glue on the bottom, and stick it to the base in a way that looks nice. So also we'll be taking a few bits of of detail and putting on the base right now before we put a grid on. So I got this skull from an old piece of chaos uh, kit. I'll put that in the front here. Kind of angle it up so people know it's a skull. And we got a piece of metal widget from uh, I don't know, one of the orc kits I have. Put that on the back side here. Yeah, I might want to put that off to the side. There we go. These things will be painted later, so I don't have to look the best right now. So, all right. Now we'll go away for a minute and let that dry, set up. Alright, so that's all set up now. And so we're going to take some school glue. There you go. And uh, apply it to the parts of the base that we want sand to stick. Also, I'm going to take an old brush to help apply it. So for the 25 millimeter we'll just kind of spread it all around you want to make sure you have a lot of glue on here as this stuff isn't very strong and watch the rim but uh, if you get some on the rim we can clean it up later so it just kind of saves your work in the long run but not the end of the world So basing miniatures is kind of a, well it's not a weird thing, it's it's something that's talked about a lot in the uh, gaming community, uh, my local gaming community and, and my friends and people who play. Some people think you need it, some people think why bother. Um, so yeah, there's a real, quite a divide um, where we're at. And I'm one of the people who think 
Well you, well, you don't need it. I think it adds a lot to the model. Um, I don't know. It, it's something very simple that you can do. Uh, especially when you see how this 25mm one is going to turn out. Uh, that kind of pulls your army all together. Um, maybe it's just me and I play Orc, so my guys all look kind of a little random. So maybe I need that kind of unity feeling. But uh, I don't know. I think it makes them look, look a little bit better. It kind of makes them your own, so you can kind of come up with whatever style you want. Not sure. People should comment below. Why do you base your minis? Uh, is it to make an overarching theme? Is it to make them look better? Do you not base your minis? Do you think it's ridiculous? Comment there too. So anyway, I have some sand and stuff that I have skillfully acquired from the local beach and cleaned up. So I'm just going to stick the base right in there. Make sure you get lots on. And, uh, yeah, you, uh, if there's too much on, we can clean up a little bit later, but the point is to get kind of it covered right now. And I'll also might get on our details on this, this base, but, uh, don't worry about that either, because we will, uh, clean that up later too. So you can get this stuff, uh, like I said, I stole mine from the beach. Um, you can get it, you can get child's play sand uh, at hardware stores. You can get um, GW uh, sand, although I wouldn't suggest it unless you got a lot of money and nothing to do with it. And even still, you should put that in an envelope and send it to me. <laughs> but uh, you uh, you can also I, I've gotten like decorative stuff at the dollar store before, so there's a really cheap ways of getting sand. So we got these covered in sand, and these are going to take a little while to set up. So uh, we're going to leave them and wait for the glue to dry. And we're back. So, um, in my time, that was probably about an hour or so that I let that dry up. But in your time, it seemed mere seconds. So, thanks to the magic of video editing and being able to stop and start the camera, I guess. Anyway, um, now we're going to take a brush and kind of just clean off any bits of sand we don't want this will come off pretty easy um, but after we paint it it will uh, keep it'll kind of seal in everything so I want to get this anything we put on the uh, anything we put on the uh, little detailed bits by mistake Anyway, there's that one, and there's that one, and anything around the edge. So, now we're going to use, the one I've been using is Reaper Tanned Leather uh, to paint the base on this. I used to use the Desert Yellow, but GW has kind of changed what they're using as Desert Yellow, and... Anybody who watched my channel before knows what I think of the GW change and all that. So, we won't get into that right now. Anyway, so when you paint this with the paint, you're going to want to, first of all, you want a generous amount of paint, uh, bordering on an obscene amount of paint, and you want, uh, you want to dab it. You really don't want to paint it on there because you might, uh, 
inadvertently start ripping some of the aggregate off. And that will come with your paintbrush, and then your base will be more sparse. It just won't look good. Am I doing this actually in frame? Not so used to the whole painting in front of a camera, so bear with me, please. I'll get better. I will, someday. Anyway, um, so desert bases. I'll give you the bases on how I chose my bases. <laughs> Man, I'm not funny. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, when I started uh, Warhammer, uh, I started with orcs, and I've only been playing orcs. So I really didn't know where I was going with them. And I was trying out when I decided, man, my guys need bases. Bases look so cool. I bring them all together, etc., etc., etc. Things I mentioned before. Um, I I messed around with a bunch of them, and the desert ones just seemed to work, look the best. So I really didn't intend on it. But after uh, doing that for every time, I'd come up and say, "What do I want to paint this base? Oh, I should paint another desert one. They looked really good last time." Um, I did that probably for about 20, 30 models, and I was like, oh, it seems like Law of My Army's desert theme, so I'll just go with it. That's how I got my bases. Um, if, uh, if I was starting a new army, I'd probably come up with a theme right off the bat, um, simply because I know what I'm doing now, but, uh, but uh, since this is my starter army, it's kind of going in the direction it's going. I have little to no control over it. It's almost like it has a life of its own. <clears throat> I'm wondering how other people got their base ideas. Was it something that you decided when you started your army? Was it like, I'm going to make this, I don't know, Space Marine or whatever army? And put them all on lava bases, or, or I'm going to start this Necron army and put them all on, I don't know, some sort of weird dark stone base, or whatever people put. Um, I'm going to do this Imperial Guard army and put them in a wrecked city or something like that. Anyway, it could be all sorts of things. Let me know. Put in the comments. I like hearing what other people do. It gives me ideas. Not that I'm going to steal your idea, but uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, right? So I may steal your idea. But it's not malicious. I will definitely give credit where credit is due. Um, I just think the more we can all share, the better everybody gets, the better the hobby gets, the more people you get in the hobby more models they make, the more tools they make, the better everyone gets, etc, 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 etc. Pretty soon, you won't be able to throw a stone without hitting somebody to have a game with, or, or uh, an event or something like that, <laughs> in the not too distant future. Well, maybe I'm wrong about that, but anyway. That's kind of my fuzzy world vision on it. So this does take a lot of paint, unfortunately. And you see I'm kind of being really generous with it. But it's worth it. For when someone comes up and says, Hey, that guy looks really cool. Or, man, look at that base. I've never had someone compliment my base. But, uh... Actually, that's not true. Megaton got a bit of compliments in what I made him for. Because I put a lot of work in his base. But anyway. Don't worry if you get paint on the uh, skull and, and other little detail bits like that. We're going to go back and paint them. So I'll get the rim at the end after everything's done. But I think... Oh, I'm making a mess. I think I've pretty much got everything. Again, we're going to wash this and do a bunch of other stuff to it, so you don't have to be super, super detailed. It is the base. Anyway, 
Now there's quite a bit of paint on that, so again you gotta kind of walk away and let this dry. In theory, I guess you're you're working on other models in between this, or you know, actually doing some of those responsibilities that prevent you from painting. Anyway, we're gonna let that dry, and we will come back and uh, finish it up. And we're back. So. Now we are going to paint the little details on the 40 millimeter base. I mean, you'll have to bear with me. Like I said, I'm not good at painting on camera. Not that I get camera shy or anything, but just not painting right in front of my face. Anyway, anyone who does this knows what I'm talking about. So I'm going to use bleach bone. Or I'm using bleach bone on the skull, on the base. I don't know if you can get a good look at my brush, but it's, uh, I don't use good brushes. I pretty much subscribe to the school of thought that um, you buy cheap brushes often and pretty much paint with them till they're garbage and then I use things like glue and stuff on them oh off the screen again nice Tim anyway there's some bolt gun for the uh, little scrap metal piece in the back there What we'll do right now is just try to get it looking like a piece of metal and then we'll we'll go back and weather it a bit just a little bit because this is going to be kind of a quick and easy base thing rather than a full on really nice base I guess you can kind of gauge it by what kind of model you're going to put on it you don't really want to do a quick and easy base for a model you're going to spend a lot, a lot of time on. Okay. So there's the bolt gun done. Now I'm going to get a dry brushing brush and my tin bits, or whatever it's called now. And just kind of do some rust on the metal part. So this would be dry brushing the metal part. Especially right here where I have accidentally glued some sand onto it. I'll actually make that look like corroded parts. So we're going to wash this afterwards. So you just kind of want to give it a hit the highlights and then the wash will kind of um, make the rest of it look semi weathered That's that all painted up, and now we are going to use the wash on it. So, like I have another video, this isn't Bad Eye Black, this is something I just made up uh, inside a Bad Eye Black bottle, bottle. And you can go over and watch my how to make um, cheap and easy uh, wash video to find out how I made this and how it goes on the base. I'll actually be applying it in that video and then we'll just come back to this one and finish it off. Alright so we've applied the wash to the bases and uh, you can go look on my how to make a cheap easy wash to find out um, how to make the wash but anyway this is what it looks like. Uh, it takes a while to dry. Anyway um, I'd say the 20 five millimeter one is pretty much complete and you can stick your guy right on there you can either drill down in 
uh, to the base and stick them on or liberally apply glue to stick them on. Uh, I'd suggest drilling down to the base and maybe like pinning them on because this stuff comes off if you glue it to that. Anyway, uh, this one's... Oh, that's not done. What am I saying? Um, we're going to use some GW Midland Tufts. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, I have some of them. We're going to pick out a nice tuft for the 25 millimeter base. There we go. So there's the tuft. Now I'm going to use some super glue to put on the bottom of the tuft. Just a little bit. There you go. And just stick it down in a place that looks natural. There's that one. And we're going to put some on the bigger base as well. We're going to put a couple of them on the bigger base, I'd say. Um, these things just kind of add a little bit more to it. Like I said, you can get as basic or as complex with these bases as you want. Uh, that one's too big to go there. I'll put it in the back. I'm going to grab a smaller one for the front there. gluing my own fingers together. Anyone notice how super glue works a lot better on skin than it does on anything else? Anyway, so there's that. Um, one thing I was just looking at off film here that I don't like is you can really see the crack there and where the two pieces for this metal went together. So I think I'm going to do something with that. So this is the basic video over and I'll add a little bit on to the end where I get a little fancy with this part. Which we will see in a second. Okay, so this is kind of the added bonus feature to this video. I didn't think I was going to do. Um, what we're going to do is this part right here uh, kind of reminds me of the old Mutant Jitten containers off of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, for anyone who can remember that that far. Off the movie, anyway. So I'm going to have, try to put like liquid flowing out of it, down the sides of it, um, and maybe a little bit on the bottom. Just to cover those lines up, and because I think it'd look cool. So I'm going to use a hot glue gun for this, uh, to make kind of the watery effect, but uh, I'm going to have to do it off camera because if I do this wrong, I'm probably going to burn myself. Alright, there we go. Um, now we'll just let it dry a bit and take off some of the stringy bits that don't look right. Alright, so there it is. Um, I'm going to use, uh, make it green, uh, since I have a lot of green. I use Goblin Green to paint it. And then maybe a Scorpion Green to do some highlights on it. This is getting really fancy, and I'm going to say I didn't plan on doing this. So, you don't really have to do this. Um, actually it was more just the bit I chose than anything, but, uh, we'll see how it turns out. I don't think I've done too, too much of this, so we'll, uh, if it turns out, it turns out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Let me know what you think when this is done. This is getting to be a quite a fancy base. Now I gotta figure out something really good to put on here. I was just gonna put a mega knob, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that anymore. 
leave a comment below if you uh, what you think I should put on it. it. Has to be something that goes on a film 40 millimeter base. Well, it doesn't have to have to be. Um, I could always use it as a decorative thing. Maybe put a bunch of grots on it or something. All right. So we're back to this incredibly long video again. Um, so for the sake of time, I just kind of did this off uh, screen. So I based it with Goblin Green, highlighted it with uh, Scorpion Green, and then just put some Thraka Green wash on it. And that's what it came out to look like. And I also painted the ring around the base, both bases, um, with the same tanned leather reaper I was using before. So anyway, that is my base. Uh, there's the 40 millimeter and the 25 one. And like I said, I really like these because they pull your army together. And hopefully I'll be doing up a model to go on each of these uh, soon. Uh, right now I'm still working on the horde of boys you can kind of see here in the background. <laughs> but anyway. Alright. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next video.